All right, let's go. Huey. Come on, we got things to do. Okay. Go, Huey. So he's gonna go up there and get that for us, and we're gonna get the items around here, and then we're gonna go, cause I don't want to ever have to come back here again, ever. Okay. Yeah, stay over there, Huey. Okay. N nothing in there. Sorry. Um, there's an item over here though. See, item. I hate the blinky thingy. I hate the blinky light. Come on, Fiona, see the item. There we go. Um, this door will never be opened. I'll show you where that door is, but it will never be open. And I'll show you how to get ending C, but I won't actually pick up the items for it. The exit that you're wanting to go to is over there. I'll probably unlock it when I do that scene. Actually. Huey. No. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Um, on my first playthrough, I got a dog level B. So th I thought that was pretty good. Um, my second, my second playthrough. Huey. 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 My second playthrough, which was Huey. like seriously two hours ago. Um, my second playthrough. Uh, yeah, my dog level was E. Because I kept, with the Texas cowgirl outfit, I kept shooting Huey on accident. I didn't mean to. It just would happen. Because, you know, he kept getting near Debbie and I was Come trying on. to shoot Debbie. And, yeah. Come on. No. no. Come on. There he is. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come over here. Go here. Now, do you know what to do? No, he didn't figure yet, yeah, maybe. Go Huey. Come on, figure it out. There we go. He figured it out like a good boy. All right, we'll get downstairs and tell him he's a good boy. But there you go. Whoosh! Look, he's so cute. I also thought it'd be cute to do that. But yeah, we'll do the frog for this part. And then during the second part where you normally have another costume change, we'll do um, the Texas Cowgirl. And then before the last area, I'll change into Illegal and some states. Because I remember there weren't a lot of items in that area, so it makes life a lot easier. Okay, if we come in here, we get a scene with Daniela. Do doos. See, and she has the winding snake on her arm. I didn't notice that in her other outfit. Maybe she didn't have it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she has her hands over her face. Um, but yeah. So, come on. Come on. No. No. Come on. Let's go. All right. We do this first. Um, if you watch my other let's play, you'll know that there's a death scene there. I'm not going to get that death scene because I don't feel like it. I just want to get this part of the game done because I've done it today. Like the rest of the parts of the game I'm cool with. It's mainly I've done this part of the game today. You know. Okay, save. Nah, not save now. We need the dog. Come here. I hate these cutscenes because they're like every five seconds. This game is actually really easy once you know what you're doing. I will say that. Like, it's completely obvious. Okay, I want you to stay. stay. There we go, stay. Now, Huey can be a bad boy and leave that spot if you don't tell him to stay. It's a breaker box over the handle. This turned off the trap in this room, which there's one. There's a trap, in, like, right here. Wait, what did it say? 
Is someone just trying to scare me? She said something about it being freakish. Okay, I'm gonna go save because this is the area I like to save at or in this part of the game. But I shouldn't have to go back upstairs. I shouldn't have to go back upstairs at all. Yui. Come on. Come on. Yui. No. no. Come on. This is just part of dog training, people. Alright, now we have another cutscene. I told you, these cutscenes are like so often it's not even funny but yeah the frog suit does kind of look silly but it does give you a cool effect the whole no losing stamina bits awesome at least when charging i don't know if it's everything but um lorenzo didn't have any concept art so i can't say anything about him because this is lorenzo on the phone He's a freaky old man. See, freaky old man. Who is this? You must pay attention now, Fiona. Be wary of Ricardo. He says that with a W. Ricardo. <laughs> You're as of. We get this. But that's my theory. Alchemist Hello? womb equal as of. Hello? Uh, you know, or Are something you obtained from an alchemist. Something an alchemist obtains from the womb. And I actually may get a, a game over just to show you some more proof of what I'm saying. Like, cause this I can point it out as I go. I guess this will be. And Debbie shows up. See, he says my dolly, not my darling. If you listen to speech. No! Get him! Get him, Huey! I think I'm hurt. Oh, wow, I am hurt. Alright, time to find a hiding spot. Uh, there's a humun- Those are called homunculus. And the other thing that I said was a failure was also a homunculus. I'm hurt. Huey. Go. There's a hiding spot in here which I'm going to take advantage of. Because I need to come in this room for something. Go, get in. This is a hiding spot. Most of those are hiding spots. Any chests like that are normally hiding spots. She's panicking. Great. Um, this is the nursery, and that rocking chair never stops moving. Never. There's a doll in the cage. It's, I don't believe you. Is it really clear? You can't ever tell. Shit. Too good. Sweet. He does tend to come back in here a lot. Do to do. Da da da. If you haven't figured out by now, this is not a spoiler-free walkthrough, which I I did my first time, by the way.
Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Uh, next time on Let's Play Haunting Ground, we'll find out what I got in here by using the Magnus plate key. Which, there's one thing, the Inquisitor earrings. So, I'll see.